Hello everyone and welcome to The Chew. I'm Pastor Robert. This is day four of week two. Today, God made us intricately. Again, our passage is found in Psalm 139, verses 13 through 18. I want to look at verses 1, 13, and 16 here briefly. Verse 1, you have searched me, Lord, and you know me. 13, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. And then verse 16, you saw, your eyes saw my unformed body. It's real interesting, in Matthew Henry's commentary on this passage, he states that David is acknowledging God has perfect knowledge of us, as we discussed on Monday. Consider this from these verses. God knows every cell that makes up our entire being, or every atom, if you will. How they form together for muscle, bone, joints, eyes, tongue, hair, our fingers and our toes. How our brain, heart, and lungs work, and more importantly, that these three needed to work without our conscious thought. Can you imagine how difficult your day would be if you had to think all the time about ensuring that your heart and lungs were working and that your brain was being taxed by those autonomous actions of our body? Could you imagine how difficult it would be to consciously think about those two things, keeping your heart pumping and keeping your lungs moving so that you could breathe and that your blood would flow in your veins and you're processing that consciously while you are working, talking to friends. God knew that we wouldn't be able to do that. He crafted our beings in such a way that everything that needs to work automatically does so. You know, we had to learn how to eat, walk, and talk. We had to learn how to throw or kick a ball, skip a rope, order our thoughts in order to speak and, and write things down. You know, God made us with such precision that everything fits together. And if that wasn't enough, he made each and every one of us unique in every possible way. I'm the oldest of four boys, and all of us carry similarities to our parents and one another, but each and every one of us is different. Two of us got hazel or green eyes, and two of us got brown eyes. Every one of us carry traits of our parents, but we are uniquely crafted by God. I think about this, is God knowing every single detail about us, and then even with our modern technology and all of the medical advances that we have, do you realize that doctors still only practice medicine. Now, I'm not being critical of doctors here, not at all. What I'm saying is that they get surprised by new discoveries about our bodies and our minds every day. So they employ best practices in order to help us when we're sick or when we break a bone. They do what has been tried and tested through the centuries. I found this real interesting thing that I want to share with you. Talk about creators, and we talk about how God knows us so intricately, right? Well, let's put it in terms that we can all relate to. I know many of you, save a couple of generations behind me, know what a typewriter is. Well, Christopher Latham Scholes of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, invented the typewriter in 1867. His finished product, he knew everything about that typewriter, every part, every spring. He knew exactly what actions needed to take place and how they would take place when the hammer struck the paper because we, sh we pressed on a key. 
He had all of that. He knew every piece of it down to the last screw. He knew his device intricately. Now, that's just a typewriter. For some people, a typewriter is very complicated. I worked on typewriters in the U.S. Navy and teletypes, and I had to learn what he knew when he created the typewriter. Of course, what I worked on was more advanced than what he initially crafted and put together. My point is this. In order for me to repair a machine, I had to learn how it worked. God did not have to learn how we work. He crafted us from nothing. The Bible says that he formed our bodies from the dust of the earth. All the way back to Genesis, and you'll read the story. He crafted us. He brew breath into us. God made each and every one of us, and he knows every single detail about our bodies and our beings. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 13 says this, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. I pray that as you consider what I've shared with you here today, that you'll invite the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word that you'll have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths. And then you'll act with the boldness and the courage of Christ to take the actions you need to take as you ask yourself this final question, which way am I choosing? Am I choosing the way of Jesus or am I choosing my own way? I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.